Hi guys, welcome to our stock. Today I am gonna talk about a special animal, which is a devil. And no, it's not a devil, 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 and not even the Tasmanian devil because I already did it. It, the females are bigger than the male. It can drink with stepping on land. It has a coloration pattern that can make it blend to sand. Also, the females are bigger than the males. Today, we have the spiky, the big. Well, not that big, or not bigger than people, but just about, I think, this much. It's the Thorny Devil! The thorny devil, also known as the mountain devil, thorny lizard, thorny dragon, and also malouche. It's a species of lizard in a family called Agamidae. The species is endemic to Australia. The next me do a Australian hello. Hello. It is a small species from the genus Molas. It grows up to 21 centimeters. And yes, and I said Australian again. In total length, including tail. That is 8.3 inch. The Tony Devil was first described biologist John Edward Gray in 1841. While it is the only species contained in the genus Molos, many taxonomists suspect another species might remain to be found in the wild. The name given to this lizard is its appearance. The two large horn scales on its head Complete the illusion of dragon or devil. The thorny devil grows up to 21 centimeter in total length. The lifespan of the thorny devil is 15 to 20 years. Most specimens are colored in camouflaging shades of desert brown and tan. These colors change from Pale colors during warm weather to darker colors during cold weather. The thorny devil usually lives in the earth, scrapland, and desert that covers most of the central Australia, sand plain and sand ridge desert, and the deep interior and the Mali belt. The habitat of thorny devil coincides more with the regions of sandy loam soils than with a particular climate in Western Australia. The thorny devil is covered in hard, rather sharp spines that dissuade attack by predators by making it difficult to swallow. And it also has a false head on its back. When it feels threatened by other animals, it lowers its head between the front legs and then presents its false head. The diet of the thorny devil mainly subsists of ants. They often eat a thousands of ants in one day. The thorny devil collects 
moisture in the dry desert by the concentration of dew. The dew forms on its skin in the early morning as it begins to warm outside. Then the dew is channeled to its mouth in hydroscopic grooves between its spines. During rainfalls, capillary action allows the thorny devil to observe the water from all over its body. Capillary action also allows the thorny devil to observe water from damp sand. Absorption through sand is the thorny devil's main source of water intake. The female thorny devil lays clutch of 3 to 10 eggs between September and December. She puts eggs in the nesting barrow about 30 centimeters underground. The eggs hatch about 3 to 4 months. The scientific name of the thorny devil is Melush Horridus. Friends, this is what I learned about the thorny devil. In the next episode, I will come back with a more special animal. If you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. So when I upload my new video, you can get the notification. Love animal? Animals are part of our life. Save wild, save future. This is Asher signing off. Bye!